Footage from inside typhoons is not something that you come by very easily. Actually, with more and more cameras being readily available to the general public, though, what we have been seeing in recent years is more and more amateur footage coming out. Unfortunately, a lot of the time when we do see that amateur footage, it's often very shaky or in low resolution, and that displays a few things. The caliber of the cameraman, the type of camera they are using, and the other big factor coming into it is they very well might be scared. And that's one thing we often see out here with amateur photography. Uh, it's often in a scenario that you should be taking shelter advice trying to get some images of that storm system and trying to get your 15 minutes of fame. Now on the flip side of that though, there are a few experienced storm chasers out there that do often get into these storms. They know what they're doing. They use high resolution cameras and they are some of the best at the business, especially out here in the Western Pacific. There are a few in particular. So in this episode of Westpac Weather 101, I'm going to go through some of these people that I suggest you follow on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, they really are the people to watch as far as getting some high quality storm footage and the people to watch because if you see them headed to your location, you're probably going to be in for some sort of rough weather. I want to start off actually with Josh Morgaman. He comes out of the USA, one of these experienced typhoon chasers, not just in typhoons, but also hurricanes. Most notable was back in 2013, though, with Typhoon High on. He's one of these people actually in this footage walking through the storm surge trying to save some people from the rising waters. South the website on a few occasions, especially during some of our live casts, trying to interpret what people are probably seeing on the ground. Furthermore, uh, he did receive several awards actually for his coverage there in Typhoon High on and also runs iCyclone. That's a very good page on Facebook. I suggest you check out. Plus, check out iCyclone on YouTube. Actually, I'll put the annotation over here on the screen, and you can go ahead and click that. All right, for our Australia friends, we actually have to mention Chris Neatso. He is part of the Oz Cyclone Chaser team. It's not just one person, but a few people. I particularly mention Chris, though, because he has helped out Westpac Weather on many occasions. He often shares a lot of his images with us, and definitely a big help when tracking cyclones approaching Australia. So you can even check out his website, OzCycloneChasers.com. Also, their app, OzCycloneChasers, one of the best apps for weather in Australia. And they're one of the few people that actually stream live footage of any storms out in the Western Pacific Basin, at least in English, coming out of Australia. Usually they run up and down the Queensland coastline, though, when you have storms forming into that area. Now, if you were looking for somebody in the USA that actually has covered hurricanes, also on the Western Pacific here, covering typhoons, you do want to check out Jim Eds. He's one of these very experienced videographers uh, around the world. His most notable videos coming out of Typhoon Haiyan, but also 10 years ago in Hurricane Charlie, uh, just some incredible footage coming out from that storm. He's also been featured in numerous documentaries, even a guest on Jay Leno. So he's one of these very credible people. And as far as storms go, yeah, if you have him in your area, you definitely do want to take note. You can follow his handle. I'll put it up on here on the screen. Also click the annotation to check out his YouTube channel where he has numerous videos of storms out here. Not just once again in the Western Pacific, but also in other areas of the world. And wrapping up our list of professional storm chasers, specifically in the Western Pacific, it is James Reynolds. You have to mention him. He has been in over 30 typhoon eye walls, numerous volcanoes he's filmed. Also, he was there just days after the March 11th tsunami. He got some incredible footage of the devastation left behind there. This is one of those guys you definitely want to follow on Twitter, on YouTube, and also on Facebook. And don't forget to check out EarthUncut.tv. Furthermore, he's an author here at WesternPacificWeather.com, often posts on our Facebook page or on our website as well, sharing a lot of his videos and footage with us to use during our webcast. So yeah, big thanks to all these guys, actually, because each one of them have shared film with us. And uh, when it comes to typhoons, it's actually quite expensive, but we're trying to relay this information, show you what it is like out there and the danger that comes with these type of storms. And the good news, you have these professional storm chasers documenting this and really putting it out there so the general public knows how severe, especially these Western Pacific typhoons, 
and uh, even over towards Australia, some of the strongest cyclones really can be. Now, as I mentioned before, there is a whole list of amateur photographers that still uh, get out there and get into these storms, not the professional ones, myself included. I try to document typhoons from time to time. If they come into and near the Tokyo area, you can check out our YouTube channel by subscribing on the annotation on the screen. Also check out Okinawa Ninja Kitty. She does a lot of stuff for Okinawa, but when there are typhoons, she's going ahead and filming those. Plus there's other stuff going on across the Western Pacific and a few other channels I do suggest you checking out. I'll put them all on the screen here and also down in the links below. But that is all for right now, everybody. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any YouTube channels that you think we should follow as far as getting storm footage for any severe weather event around the world, let us know. And same thing goes for any Facebook page or Twitter handles that you think are really the, some of the cream of the crop as far as getting information on severe weather systems. So this is just our quick little short video on this. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, stay safe out there. Bye.